Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shirley, if you're new. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a review of another Cartier piece. As you guys all know, I love Cartier and I love all their pieces. So I've actually gotten a lot of questions about this item, so I thought I'd just make a video out of it just to kind of answer any general questions. <music> I wear this piece every single day. I never take it off, but I took it off for the sake of this video. And then I'm just gonna show you how the item came. A little backstory of this item. They recently changed the name of it. I actually didn't know until just now. So when I bought it, it was a Diamonds Ledger's necklace, but now it's the Cartier D'Amour necklace. So if I, I think I'll be using those two terms interchangeably. So it comes in this red infamous box we open it and then inside you kind of have a red box so i'll just show you guys Ooh, so. so here's the item it comes in the normal red box and then if you open it it's a lot smaller because you know it's a necklace but if you open it, it has the infamous red box with the gold trimmings and then here we have, and then you just have, it's the same mechanism for all their pieces, if you click it. So this is actually the necklace. I'm gonna show you guys right here. This necklace is actually, I really don't know what to call it. This necklace is the Cartier D'Amour necklace in yellow gold, extra small, previously known as a Diamonds Ledger's necklace. So a little bit about the necklace. It is 18 karat gold. Um, the chain length is between 14 to 16 inches. You do have the ability to decide between those two, but we'll talk more about it in the pros and cons video. And the, the diamond size, it's a real diamond, so it's 0.04 carat. If you do want a bigger carat, you can actually go up in size as well. I got this necklace. It actually came with a necklace holder which I don't really have much use for just because this is always on my neck and if I were to ever not wear it, I would just put it back in the box. However, this is a really great traveling piece. So it's just, so Cartier like gives you a traveling piece for all their items. So this one just kind of just looks like this. And of course, sometimes they don't always give this to you, but you can always ask and they'll be more than happy to give it to you. With any Cartier piece, it does come with a certificate. So this is a certificate of it. It's different from the Love Collection, like here, this is the Love Collection. Meanwhile, this is just a regular one. Here's the booklet, and then like, you just have like a certificate information here. I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of this necklace, and then also kind of do a summary of if it's really worth it or not. I do want to end this video on a good note, so we're going to be talking about the cons before the pros, but I do also want to point out that I love Cartier, I love this, I, I love my necklace, so the cons aren't really cons to me, they are just mainly things that you should think about and consider if you guys are thinking about getting this item. So yeah, let's get started. So one thing that I don't like about the necklace is it actually flips around too much. Um, it doesn't really stay in place. I'm not too sure why. I'm thinking that maybe the front is a little bit too light. Meanwhile, the back is a little bit more heavy. The necklace is supposed to be really worn like this with the diamond in front. But because I wear it 24-7 and like doing everything, all my activities, working out, like walking, everything with this necklace, that at the end of the day, my necklace ends up being like this um that's just how it always ends up to be i don't know why like and then throughout the day i'm always like switching it back to the diamond but somehow it always just ends up like this but i'm always having to do this and that's something like a con for me because but i don't really notice it anymore just because i'm always constantly adjusting it so the second con is it's going to get tangled if you stack it i actually tried stacking this one and it just got jumbled up with my other necklace which wasn't like an 18 karat gold one so it really hurt when it got all tangled it took me a while but i do want to point out that the ne this necklace the chain is very thin it's um delicate even though it's 18 karat gold it can get very delicate because i there was one time i actually stacked my necklaces and it got really tangled that i'm really afraid that if i were to pull a little bit harder it might break so that's something to consider the fact that the chain itself is very thin and then 
the third is the price. The price along with the size of the diamond. Cartier is a very well-known luxury brand and if you guys are interested in just buying a simple necklace, I do not recommend getting it from Cartier. Um, by all means, if you love Cartier, go for it. That's my, that was my preference too. I love Cartier and I'll talk more about it in the overall thoughts. For the size of the diamond and the price, it's not worth it. And that's a really big con because if you were interested in just like a regular diamond necklace, I would recommend other brands. Like I know Majuri does a really like look similar one like this and like a bunch of jewelers out there does the same thing. It's just that this is just a simple necklace. It's not Cartier known. Uh, meanwhile, the Love the Collection is specifically known would recommend that if you just want a simple diamond necklace I would recommend other other stores if you don't want to spend too much on there there was recently a price increase from when I got this the necklace currently retails for $910 before tax, so after tax is going to be a little over a thousand dollars. When I got this necklace, the price was around eight hundred dollars, so there was definitely a price increase with this piece. So, of course, if you're not willing to spend a thousand dollars on this small necklace, then I wouldn't recommend it. Of course, if you love Cartier like I do, go for it. Like, I absolutely love this necklace. Definitely, a really big con is the price because you're paying almost a thousand dollars for this small necklace and of course some um, you can definitely find a diamond at another brand for a fraction of the price um, now here's the fun part we're gonna be talking about the pros of the necklace i'm already like so happy to talk about just because i love this necklace it is something i never take off i did take it off for the sake of this video but i never really take it off um, for me personally one of the pros is it's not too flashy it's not like in your face it's just a simple necklace and a lot of people don't know that it's from a luxury brand and that's how I like my jewelry pieces and like any luxury things in general I don't like things that are too flashy and everything so the fact that I I personally love Cartier as a brand like I love all their pieces if I could get a piece from like all their collections I so would but I don't want it to be too flashy as well and I knew I wanted a simple diamond necklace and my boyfriend was so kind enough to get me this um, so I absolutely love this necklace so that's a pro. It's a, it's very, it's a very simple necklace, but you will never know that it's Cartier. And like I know that I mentioned that this kind of was a con, but I kind of find it sometimes. I've I've grown to love it. Like I've grown to love the back of it being in the front because you can see the Cartier logo just like sticking out. Another pro is this is a type of material. This is an 18 karat gold with. A real diamond in the center yeah the wear and tear of this necklace is absolutely amazing because I ate wear it all the time I wear it in the showers and it doesn't tarnish or anything it just maintains like perfectly and it maintains the shininess of it so I even went to Hawaii when I went to Hawaii I never took this off I wore it in the ocean I wore it in the pool with chlorine you're not I know you're not supposed to do that like chlorine kind of messes up with the metals but I still did it and I went to the beach with it. I went like everywhere, everywhere with it. So it didn't tarnish it. Uh, when I came back from Hawaii, like this necklace was like as if it's brand new. And even though I've been wearing it for about for a little over a year, this necklace has stayed in the same exact shape and condition that when I first got it. And that's and that is everything to me because I'm very lazy when it comes to taking on my jewelry. I don't like taking it off. So the fact that I can wear a piece forever just means the world like i will pay that amount of money just so i can wear a necklace without ever taking it off the third pro in this piece is the length of it so this necklace if you were to just buy it without any alterations it's 14 to 16 inches uh, this necklace is adjustable you there's two lengths and you can do it like 14 inch or 16 inch um i will show you guys a thing like here so this this one is actually makes it 14 inches and this is 16 inches. So there's actually like two rings, one here and one here that you can definitely adjust to. The longer setting kind of sits like this for me. Just like, it's, it's just the perfect length. It's like right a little under my collarbone. So I absolutely adore it. This is, and then I adjusted it to the 14 inch length, the shortest length here. So it actually just like hits right at my collarbone. Like here's my collarbone and that's how it sits. There's really no big of a difference. I just personally think that this is 
too short which is why I like the longer length if you want the necklace to be a little bit longer you can definitely have them customize it for you it may take a little bit longer for you to actually get the item but definitely worth it if you guys are willing to invest in this piece they will do like they will like extend it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter uh, mainly to your preference and these are the pros and cons to the Cartier Diamore necklace um, the Diamore necklace actually comes in three colors the yellow gold white gold and rose gold. White gold always tends to be a little bit more expensive in Cartier. It does come in different sizes, so the diamond, I believe it comes in extra small and small and a medium. As you go up in size, the diamond gets bigger and the price increases as well. So that's also something to consider. My overall thought is, is this necklace worth it? It really depends on your preference. Of course, I can give you so much details, but it really depends on your preference if you guys really love it or not. If you guys love Cartier as much as I do, I would say it's so worth it because it's. this is one of my, the pieces that I wear all the time. And I never really take it off. And I do get a lot of compliments on it. Like a lot of people just ask me like, oh my god, I love your necklace. Like It's so simple. Like no one... I love that it's not flashy. I love that when you first see it, you don't automatically think it's Cartier. So that's really amazing, but do I think it's really worth it? This is one of the biggest cons to consider is the price. For the price of this necklace and a diamond size, I don't say it's worth it because the majority of the price that you will be paying will be the brand itself. So if you guys were not interested in the brand and you don't really care about the brand and you don't really care where it's from, I would recommend looking elsewhere just because you can find a much bigger diamond for a fraction of the price so yeah I overall I think it's worth it if you love it then you gotta get it really if you guys just want a simple diamond necklace without paying that without paying that chunk of money then yes I would recommend looking elsewhere I do know that Majuri makes the same exact one for just a fraction of the price and I believe the diamond is bigger but again really up to you I think it's worth it it's, and it's a piece that I wear all the time but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!